All right, people, welcome back to the Coach's Desk. I'm your host, Coach Minzy, and we are here with another video. And I have a special guest with us um, in studio, and that is none other than the Military Guna TV. People, before I bring military on, I want you to go over and support Military Guna TV. Subscribe to his channel, comment under his videos, and also you are going to um, like up his video. Yeah? So that's what I'm requesting of you when you check out Military Guna TV. All right, so welcome. Welcome, Military. Wagwan. Everything good? We have life so and strength, so we have to give thanks. Uh, yeah, man, absolutely. We have to give thanks to that, man. Life are the greatest thing right now, no, based on Tell what him. is happening. <laughs> Jamaica vile. <laughs> John, I'm a star. A ja right. I'll tell you, half Jamaican. It's <laughs> <laughs> not a new name that them give it. Half Jamaican. <laughs> yeah, I know. I'm going to tell you, the place is the place serious. So I, I encourage you, just do what you need to do to remain safe. It's either American, Corona, or the bullets. Boy, I'm <laughs> Something. All is something. something and then you have the some people in the impoverished situation um financial restraint and all of these things uh, the country <sighs> right now yeah. yeah so let's talk football we have the big match coming up on thursday mm -mm. and and paul hall coach paul hall selected his first team yes. what say you about that selection tell me what all right so thoughts? from my thoughts this... finish Initially, mm -hmm. I'm looking on the squad. Me, I said, All right, the first thing pop up. I think the first person everybody sees, no grant. That is the first mm -hmm. thing. But when you look on the squad in a holistic aspect, mm -hmm. you can say it's balanced. Right. It is balanced, a balanced squad. And you have to give credit to that. If you find a balanced squad, that's not easy. That's true. That's true. And, and you know what, what I look at um, military, when you look on, on the personals right throughout the areas, mm -hmm. the goalkeeper, the defenders, the midfielders, the attackers, I am seeing athleticism. Athleticism. Mm -hmm. Let me slow down. I'm not trying to say the word, you know. I'm not listening. So I, I'm basically seeing that mm -hmm. by the selection of these teams. Meaning Sprinters. you have persons yes, that man. are mobile, persons that yes, can man. move, yes, persons man. that can give Paul all what he wants in terms of the high press. What say you? You, 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 you hit the nail right on the head, coach, in regards to that. Because the defenders... Uh, even though the one the center back, you fast the center back, I don't know if anybody realized it's actually Damian Lowe. He's the quickest mm -hmm. center back we have. Very, very quick, versatile as well. Really versatile. Uh, even though he might be rash, but he's quick. Now, as I said, in regards to um the, the type, the type of players, and I like where you identify that aspect of it. You, you, you really you really pinch a, a different nerve when I said the, 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 the type of players, the mole of players. When mm -hmm. you look at a team like Liverpool. Notice all Liverpool have big, um, heavy metal type of players. Mm -hmm, I mm -hmm. think it's something similar that we're seeing right here. Uh, heavy metal, even the front line, the Andre Gray, the Mikel Antonio, Bob Reed, Javon Heath, Corberg. People might complain about quality, you know, but what, what I'm talking about is how they play. How mm -hmm. they play. That, that, that aggressive, that aggressive hard press, yeah. that high press, the intensity. We have to look into that. And you can definitely see that Paul Hall is going for something in regards to the aspect of intensity. Intensity throughout the ninety minutes of football, right? And and look at it this way, um, military. When 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 we see the game um, against the Peru team, what I observe is that that team they were able to run for forty five minutes, <laughs> press, yeah, and they kind of run out of steam in the second half. But you could you could see what they were doing based on the instruction they were given from the coach. So I, I I'm looking at this um team selected now. Uh we it might not be some of the players that we'd want to see. And that's why I think like a, 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 a Anthony Grant would have been omitted from this round. Because you know the Mexicans are very quick players, they are mm -hmm. technical, they move the ball quick. So you want persons to close them down as quickly as possible. So I believe that's the reason um a, a, a coach Paul Hall would have selected players like these who can give a high press. Mm -hmm. You know, we talk about Javon East. Many would not want to see a Javon East in the team. But if Javon East goes out there to play, he's going to run, run, run. Corey Burke, they're going to press the attack 
of the, the, the Mexican because the mm-hmm. thing about the Mexicans, you know, you cannot give them any space. Time and space. True. I agree. What, what, I agree. what say you on that um, military? I agree with you 100%. You're, the Mexican, these guys move the ball r- quick, quick ac- across the pitch, really, really quick. Um, they, they are not the most physical, right. but in that aspect, um, that is that is, that is what I like, you know, what Paul Aldil in regards to the blend. You know, we have some mm-hmm. physical strikers, but when you look into the midfield, that high level of technical ability with the mm-hmm. midfield, um, the, the omission of Grant, me, 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 for me, it can't, me can't justify it. <laughs> Honestly, me can't justify it because um, we have seen Grant against um, um, other opponents we, and even Mexico uh, before. Exactly, and he really, really stood out. And remember that we only conceded the goal when he when came he was up. removed, right? And if you check with track record, when he's on the pitch, we are a total different beast. When he's off the pitch, we are what they call it, water down. <laughs> but <laughs> but so we can't we can't really defend the omission of Anthony Grant. And I still I would really really like to find out the deeper details about it. But we we'll leave that until the next time. But I, I like the blend. We have some some aggressive defenders, hard and aggressive defenders. We have a technical midfield, and we have some heavy metal strikers. That is a very very good blend. Yeah, man, definitely. Um, many many by be saying that we we only have one. Um defensive midfielder in Kevin mm-hmm. Stewart from Blackpool who has not played a lot of games just coming off injury but what is it a case where coach Paul all sees that this player can put in a shift for him in one or two games based on what he wants to achieve in terms of his the new found philosophy that this team will embrace going forward uh, yeah I, and anything about it no we have to trust his philosophy First of all, the reason we have trust it is because we have only seen 90 minutes of it. And we have been mm-hmm. impressed based off of the 45 minutes out of it. And, you know, we have excused. <laughs> we have a lot of excuses for the other 45. But in the mm-hmm. aspect of things, um, we did get to see what, what, what he, he, he proposed forward in regards to his philosophy. Um, mm-hmm. No, we have opened our mind in regards to Aliyah Moore can also be a facilitator in a CDM role. We should bear in mind that he can play in that CDM role. Also, mm-hmm. if we don't get as much out of a, a, a Kevin Stewart, now it, it's a worry for me, you know, because he's coming back from he's recently coming back from injury. We haven't seen him mm-hmm. yet in a, mm-hmm. in a full 90 minutes, but uh, I would assume that he and the coach would have had a talk and come to some form of understanding on the amount of minutes he can play or he can manage. But he would be surprised because this is a Concacaf, um, one tough, of the tough, toughest, tough toughest zo- region, yeah, man, tough zone. Tough region, <laughs> yeah. Um, I tell people, you know, say Kangakaf, come the ball, African Cup of Nation. These things are rough, rigid, man. The only thing left, man, the, the players then start. To, I took out the boxing glove. That is, the, <laughs> I, I just start fist fighting each other. That's the only thing left for them, though. But in all aspect, um, I think that um, Paul Hall would have to just trust his philosophy and what is going forward. And as I said, um, we can see maybe we can look forward to see maybe either Damian Lowe or Liam Moore facilitating that see them role so i'm not really much worried about um the kevin stewart um aspect of it yeah yeah so uh in 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 a nutshell uh military i believe that paul all picks this team for the athleticism Mm -hmm. as well as the type of players that can actually handle his eye press Mm -hmm. counter press and the type of midfielders that are in this squad is basically one that will possess the football. And he made mention about possession type of football mm-hmm. and high press. And once you high press, I believe that you should be able to possess the football because you're going to run out of steam if you just <laughs> continue to run, run. high press, high press, high press. And when you win the ball, you give it away. You're going to mm-hmm. start over that all over again for the 90 mm-hmm. minutes. So... In a nutshell, I think that's why um, Paul Hall would have would have selected these players to fit his philosophy going forward. You know what mm-hmm. I mean? Yeah. So, yeah. Any any final th- thoughts? Because we're not staying long on this one, you know. Me afraid. Me afraid. Me afraid. Me nervous. Me nervous. Any man never train yet. <laughs> final thought. Um, I pray that the players um come together. Um. And try to try really try to implement the philosophy of the coach. I know that the coach will be doing a lot of over overtime work, um, board work as well. I think that he will definitely use the last game 
um, run some clips through to, to show the players um, what, what, what happened in the last game and tell them mm-hmm, that mm-hmm. this is what happened. This is what happened in the first half. This is how we could have scored, but we didn't score. Um, this is what happened when we when they started to score on us in regards to um the midfield being dismantled and such and such. Um, this is how this may I make sure may I, may I pray them show the other midfielders how hard speed they work. So my time is start with speed to a hard yeah, speed work. Yeah. I mean I tell them, man, poor Devon, you have some foot, you have some legs there. <laughs> it can work. So I think that um he will try to implement um his philosophy and get his best out of his play and uh i say people and uh, that's it for me um that's it for me yeah we're looking forward for a good game we're looking forward to three points no doubt about that if we are mm-hmm. not gonna get three points trust me i think it is going to lessen our chances of True. making it to qatar or even jump into the top four we can get a playoff spot <laughs> so people thanks very much for tuning in remember to go over and support military gona tv yeah uh, you can find military on twitter you can find him on facebook you can find him on instagram with the same everywhere. <laughs> everywhere everywhere even <laughs> even, even tick tock <laughs> <laughs> so you can find military everywhere people so go out support the channel um trust me these youtubers jamaican youtubers who covers content of the reggae boy the the, the, the premier league the jr the, the, the schoolboy football will put in a lot of work mm, true so we are asking if you just support us by subscribing to our channel um liking the videos commenting on the videos free and easy way to free. support the thing Not even right? dollar. <laughs> <laughs> so big up yourself until big next up. time people just continue to stay safe even though we know our country is in a, 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 a spot of bother right now. Just stay safe and yeah, peace out. <laughs>